Noch mehr wilde Tiere in Afrika. Wir gehen auf eine Safari. Another giraffe can grow up to 18 to 20 feet tall. The tallest animals in the world. And in the bushes to our left, the grey animals are the wildebeests. And the wildebeest in Afrikaans means wild cattle. And with them we have the grand zebras and the white pelicans to our right. I have not seen them today. Try the red clay pit. Big Red is the elephant matriarch of the reserve's herd. She gave birth a while ago to a new calf. He does bathe in the same red clay pit as his mama. These are said to be the ugliest of all stocks. They're going to stretch up to five feet tall. Uh, and back in the bushes we have... Uh, and in front of us here we have the sable antelopes. Uh, the sable antelopes to our left. And their horns can grow up to 50 to 60 inches long. These are the largest of all the zeros. And as in Wilson, so right here we have the Great Akudu. Wildu. Everybody hang on. Has come. They must be closed. Ende der merkwürdigen Safari. Ja. 
Ein tropischer Windkanal. Weitere komische Vögel, auch ohne Federn. Greetings, friends. Namaste. Well, you have wandered into a very special place. Ancient Asian ruins on the outskirts of a village known as Nandapur. Deer birds from all over the globe come here as a crossroads in their worldly travels. They bring with them truth. Together we have learned to coexist with these remarkable birds around us. So come, let us take you on a journey into a world that until... All right, I'm here. Sorry I'm late. But don't worry, everything is under control. Here, Joel, this is No, I need this one. Don't just stand there. I've got a lecture to do. Hello, class. Hello. Maybe the rest of you don't get it. I'm the teacher. You're the class. I'll say, hello, class. You say, hello, teacher. We'll try it again. You might end up on the dinner menu. How does Luke call the rhyme sound? Uh, sorry. Uh, I'm wrong. You're right. Can we get somebody out here to help me? Sure. What's the magic word? Please. Well, I was looking for every cadaver, but that Luke. Like he burns. Do do that voodoo that you do so well. <laughs> what? Uh, the bird is freaking oh, out the kid. Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, Elvis, there you are. We've been looking everywhere for you, little buddy. Hey, Eric, Kathy, have you met Luke? He is apparently our new trainee. Uh, oh, Phoenix, be nice. Luke, don't worry. We were all new here once. That's right. Welcome, Luke. Thanks. Great. I'm sure we'll be best of friends. Now, what about the vulture? Oh, well, don't worry about Elvis. He's a friendly little guy. He's a king vulture. King vultures are found in Central and South America. You know, just like all vultures, these guys are really beneficial. You see, vultures eat the carcasses of animals that have died out in the wild. It sort of makes them nature's recyclers. It's the circle of life! That got him to leave. Oh, yeah. See you later, Elvis. Thank you. Taste. That's great. You guys, you handle those birds really well. How do you do that? All they do is pick on me. 
Well, you just got bad bird karma, dude. Oh, nonsense. Luke, don't worry about it. You know, when Kathy and I first got here, we weren't much different than you. That's right. And you know what, though? In the time we have been here, Eric and I sure have learned a whole lot about the world around us and all the animals, too. Like that one. Oh! Uh, Luke, would you please take a chill pill? It's just a little bird. Eric, please do something with him. Sure. Hey, Luke, come on over here with me. You'll get a close look. I'll protect you from this guy. Kathy, why don't you tell him about their friend there? No problem, Eric. Now, this right here is a red legged stereotype. It's a pretty cool bird. What they do in the wild is they hunt for rodents and reptiles. And he's actually looking like he's interested in the rubber alligator I have right now. And what they do, when they find their prey, they grab it, they search for a rock, and when they find the perfect spot, they shake it, and they pulverize their prey on the rock, just like that. Now, it's a little silly looking, but it really is a natural behavior. Oh, good one. That was good. It is a natural behavior that these guys use to break up their prey or kill their prey. And what, they, what that does is it breaks up the bones, makes them nice and squishy. That way they can swallow them whole. I'm going to try that with a pork chop tonight. <laughs> uh, it's good. Good. Good Very nice. Yes. All right. Thank you, my little bone crushing friend. Bye bye. Thanks, guys. That was a nice little divertisement. Yeah, now, let's get back to my lecture. Do you mind? Go, perch on a rock or something. It's time to educate here. Hello, class. Hello, teacher. Although not scientifically proven, <laughs> bird like that. All right, Einstein, that's enough. Everybody say goodbye, teacher. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. What's wrong? Bird trainer, right? Right, but first. Well, then let's get down to business. Bird training 101. Turn around. Put your arms out. Look straight ahead. What bird are we training? Not the vulture, I hope. No, Luke. For you, I thought we'd start with something nice and simple, like a rare and gentle monkey bird. Monkey bird? Well, yeah, you went to college. Did you even learn about the monkey bird? Oh, oh, that monkey bird. Right, right. Now, as everybody knows, monkey birds come from deep in the jungle, where they spend their days with chimpanzees and other assorted primates. Of course. So, if you want to get this bird to come to you, you need to create an environment similar to its own. Now, I just happen to have my lunch on me. Take very good care of it. You know, stand like a monkey and look straight ahead. Now, don't move. That's very important. And when I say go, I want you to make a sound like a jungle climate. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, go! Chick magnet. What's going on? Every time I try to go about my business here, birds suddenly oh, appear. No. Why is that? Huh. Why do birds suddenly appear? Every time you are near. Well, just like me, they long to be. Close to you. Oh, get away, you hippie. Hey, easy, baby. Listen, I got a surprise. Oh, what? Are you going to have some bird poop on my head? Look. I mean, no, no, this is a magnificent bird. I would never do that to you. Eric, is Red around today? Yeah, I saw him over in the woods over there earlier. Hey, Red, there he is on the wall. Oh, that's a chicken hawk. Ah, uh, no. No, Luke. No, there ain't no such thing as a chicken hawk. That guy's called a red-tailed hawk. You know, they're one of the most common birds of prey in North America. You know, they get their name from a beautiful red tail, you'll see, when he flies on over here. Hey, Red, come on over here and show Luke your tail. There he goes. I thought they attacked chickens. Uh, oh. Luke, what is it with you and chickens? No, 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 no. That is an old wives' tale. Everybody knows natural diet for red-tailed hawk. I haven't learned anything at all. And all my education was just a big waste of time. Oh, Luke, don't be silly. No, education is one of the most important tools we have for helping our feathered friends. But it does take more than book knowledge. I mean, you have to open up to the birds. How? Oh, well, you wait right here. You just need some confidence, my friend, and I know just how to do it. Does everybody know what time it is? It's Toco time! What? Toco time, Luke. It's a bird. Loosen up! Dance! Uh, all right. Yeah, all right. Nice move, Luke. Hey, Luke, do you know what species of bird this is? Sure, that is the fruit loop species. Ha <laughs> ha, no. Not exactly. Anybody else know what species?
species of bird it is, shout it out, you know it. That's right, it's a toucan. It's a toco toucan. That's right, Ricky. Guess what? You get to have your first training assignment, and that is to beat this choco toucan right here. All right. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Other than this little screeching sound that he makes. All right, he's, he's lining up. Thinking about it. Here he comes. Oh, he feels better now. <laughs> that a boy. Thanks. Now, like I was saying about owls, she acts as an ambassador for her species, a living symbol of one of the most remarkable conservation success stories of all time. Eric? That's exactly right. You see, Luke, it wasn't very long ago that the bald eagle was in danger of becoming extinct. In fact, people wondered if our future generations would ever see these beautiful birds out in the wild. But, you know, this is very taken off the endangered species list. Yeah! Whoa! She's happy about that. Wow. Frank, thank you, Eric. Thank you, Hulk. So, Luke, tell me. I feel like not pigeon. <laughs> Flight keepers, come. I believe Luke is now ready to join our ranks. My friend, the stage is yours. All right, Luke, I know you can do this. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Flights of Wonder. My name is Luke, and today, Today, I am, I am your flight keeper. Congratulations, my friend. I knew you could do it, Luke. 